What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. And give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey, presented by the Gentlemen's Club channel. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm going to be doing a review over this one right here, Uncle Nearest 1856. Now, if you know, we're at the tail end of Black History Month, and in the prior video to this one that you're watching now, I gave my introduction to this uh, new-to-the-market whiskey, it's been available for just a few years now, but not too long. Founded by Fawn Weaver, an author who learned the story that Uncle Nearest, a.k.a. Nearest Green, was the mentor that taught Jack Daniels how to distill whiskey. And he is the first master distiller on record in the United States that is an African-American. So, I'm going to give my review on that whiskey, and I have all my notes right here, and I have my drink in hand right here. I've already pre-tasted this, so all I had to do was just uh, jot down my tasting notes and what I think about it, and I'll give it a taste again right here, right now on camera, and I'll tell you guys what I think. Uh, first, before I get on to that, let me just... Mention again about this drink real quick. This is 50% ABV for my American friends out there. That's 100 proof. This comes inside of a 750 milliliter bottle. The bullet points of this one says that it's distilled in small batches, handmade in Tennessee, maple charcoal filtered, aged in char and charred oak barrels. And on the back, it says, distilled and aged in Tennessee, bottled by Uncle Nearest, Nashville, Tennessee. All right. Drink in hand now. Because this is 50% ABV, I put a little bit of water inside of here. But uh, before I put that water inside of here, I did a nosing test. Before introducing water, just to see what the uh, initial smell would have been like, uninfluenced by anything. And adding water just helps to bring that out even more so. So, the first thing, it has a very smooth smell. If there is such a thing as uh, using the word smooth for an aroma. The reason I say it has a smooth smell, when I say smooth, uh, I'm leaning more towards that it has a very uh, light, uh, not harsh smell, so to speak. There are no ethanol fumes, and the smell is like a sweet molasses. The palate.
The palate is rich and smooth. It tastes like uh, caramel candy apples. You know, the kind that you get from the fair or the carnival. Just like those. There's a slight uh, cinnamon spice inside of there. And a little bit of an oak taste. And the finish is more of a continuation of the palate of that uh, cinnamon spice. Plus a little bit of a grassy aftertaste. So to run that down for you again, the smell, smooth smell, meaning light, not harsh, no ethanol fumes, sweet molasses. Rich and smooth on the tongue, caramel candy apple, slight cinnamon spice, a little bit of oak inside of there, and the finish the aftertaste is cinnamon spice plus a little grassy aftertaste so i wrote here this whiskey being from the master that taught jack daniels uh you would expect it to be more or less the same thing as uh jack daniels number seven because that would be the safe bet but surprisingly, it's completely different from that. Uh, in the aroma department, it starts off a lot better than Jack Daniels. I mean, it's it's not comparable at all. It's just it's just leagues better in the aroma than Jack Daniels is. It smells way more premium, is what I wrote. So it's off to a good start there. And then when it comes to the palette and finish. It's different enough to separate it and to segregate it, no pun intended, uh, to segregate it from uh, Jack Daniels. But it's, it's hard to say which is better. But being my first drink of this and being a longtime drinker of Jack Daniels, this is my very first glass of this. I'm going to have to let it grow on me just a little bit more, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm completely happy with uh, what's been done here. It's not just a rehash of what we already know, because if it was, this being supposedly a more premium drink than Jack Daniels, why would anybody buy this for more money when you can just go get Jack Daniels for a lot less? So... This has to come with something uh, a lot different and uh, a lot bang, more bang for buck and a lot uh, bigger of an experience that you could possibly get. This has to come with more impact as to not be the same and to not be a waste of money. And I'm uh, glad to say that it's not. So as you guys can see. I've already cracked the seal. The seal has been broken. I will be drinking a lot more of this in my private time off of camera. And I'm going to be sharing it with a lot of my friends and asking them what they think about this. I think Uncle Nearest 1856 has found a new ambassador in me. I mean, everywhere I go, I'm going to be preaching the word about this whiskey and letting everybody know the story that they need to know. Anybody that's a whiskey drinker, just trust me, you need to go out there and you need to try this. This is different from everything that you've had before. Wow, I mean, such an amazing story. And to say the least, there's a good drink behind that story, so... After you tell the story and you really hype it up, I mean, you really hype it up for everybody because that's the way that it needs to be told, right? Everybody's going to be wanting to drink this. Like, they're going to be waiting with bated breath for you to pour that glass for them. And when you pour that glass and they, they put that glass to mouth, they're going to be expecting a whole lot. And to say the least, is not going to disappoint. So... Thank you, Uncle Nearest, and thank you, Fawn Weaver, for delivering this new classic of a drink 
This one needs to be inside of everybody's inventory, sitting on your shelf, in your bar. Nothing else, nothing more that I could say about that. Just do it. All right, gentlemen. Uh, I would like to give a salute to you, no matter where you are out in the world. Make sure that you drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, keep it classy.